karibu kujifunze data science kwa kutumia Python programming language. Leo tunataka kutumia software inaitwa Anaconda, Jupyter Notebook kufanya machine learning au data science. Tuna data set hizi hapa ziko kwenye file ya Microsoft Excel na watadid column hapa target column ni, ni age. So, hii hapa ni just a conda uh, terminal. Tunataka kuona how to install a uh, python uh, package kwa kutumia conda uh, terminal so what is the main objective main objective ni perform uh, statistical analysis kwa kutumia python programming language hii na apply kwenye various fields kama vile social science or statistics uh, scientific research survey finance accounting education or economics okay so today ndo kucheki uh, about data variations and central tendency so what is data variation and central tendency okay so ndo kucheki information uh, kama vile uh, mean average mean okay tunataka kucheki uh, median mode variance standard deviation skewness range quartile quartile deviation mean deviation ndoko cheki uh, visualization techniques ndoko cheki how to plot bar graph simple bar graph uh, to display age interval so targeted column is age na tuna number of records so kutoka kwenye hizo records uweze ku find age interval na kuziplot kwenye simple bar graph again ndoko kucheki box plot and frequency uh, distribution table kama vile frequency yenyewe relative frequency percentage cumulative frequency pamoja na other frequency okay so this is our, our analytics sample try to mia here hapa okay descriptive analytics so descriptive analytics we check measure of our central tendency and data variations okay so we are going to plot what uh, here hapa as a normal curve kwa ajili ya ku check uh, data variation so this is a normal curve hapa tutacheki uh, data spread so we will visualize outliers from data set targeted column ambayo ni age ndoko check this is a simple bar graph ambayo inaonyesha age by intervals age by intervals so hapa tuna univariate variable ambayo ni age single variable so kutoka hiyo kwenye single variable is display age interval as x axis and y axis is frequency also ndoko visualize uh, some outliers from data set outliers ni value ambayo it may deviate from average mean average mean as well so this is a frequency distribution about tender quick plot okay so the first step is to install conda so that i'm load conda setup from official uh, official website after downloading utafanya installation okay uta install conda then uta open kisha hiyo open ndio kui launch hii hapa uh, Jupiter this is Jupiter notebook so ukisha hii launch Jupiter notebook itafungia namna hii so this is the Jupiter notebook uh, user interface na unaweza kufanya customization customization kuweka hii uh, black uh, theme ulipoje kwenye settings and theme then hapa kwenye theme utachagua uh, kuchagua hii hapa ambayo itakuwa ni black theme so hapa nakuchukua hii hapa use jupiter lab dark so ngichagua dark nikichagua hiyo dark nitakuwa ni moja kwenye dark okay so now another step is to uh, upload the data set a data set ina number of columns full name age department salary marital status and gender so tunaza tuna suppose this ni data ambazo zimekuwa collected from a uh, field from field kwa ya either research or any so hapa kwenye uh, Jupyter notebook home utafiki hii basa ni hii hapa imeandikwa uh, upload so click upload good now you select a sample data set a sample data set is data set dot csv ambayo ni hapa okay so mimi ni hapa nime browse ipo kwenye computer after then ta click hii hapa uh, open okay so click open good now so mimi upload previous ta click just overwrite okay 
So data set has been uploaded. Another step is to open a new uh, Jupyter notebook. So I'm going here for when you hear new, so click on new. Now you have to here for a notebook. Okay. So it open a new notebook. I'm going here. Pa. Okay. So here now you have to a default uh, kernel. So default kernel. So now you have to select. Good. So now ni pokuwe Jupyter uh, notebook ambapo hapa naweza kaanza kuandika code. But we need to a uh, dependence au library. Nitakuja hapa kwenye hii hapa uh, home, okay? Then hapa kwenye home nitakuja kuchagua hii hapa a uh, new. Then ta click here kwa terminal. So click on terminal. Then new terminal will be opened. So this is a new terminal. So hapa kwenye new terminal nita install uh, Python dependence or libraries. Okay. So ili kwenye kwenye install libraries hapa kwenye console nita andika conda then space then install then hapa nafatua na library name. Okay. So for example install uh, pandas okay then click enter panda will be installed or install plotly then click enter and plotly will be installed ok numpy so install numpy then click enter numpy will be uh, installed so here syntax is in conda this is conda conda install ok so conda install then install what install happen when you library name can be pandas can be numpy ok can be pandas okay then click enter it a uh, final restoration can be numpy okay then click enter can be uh again to install here pa. okay so install his libraries after installation now when you find importation hapa when you find importation in library so import let's then import pandas is pd okay again import uh, statistics is start so this statistic is a standard library and panda is a standard library i was gonna put you python so import uh numpy okay is mp okay then from to start import skew okay so what is skew skew and finally you plot this uh skewness okay again import plot import uh plot plot okay dot graph underscore object is go and from dot starts import no so this is for normal distribution so this statistic measure of tendency and data variation or dispersion not to me library to statistics Numpy kwa jili ya ku create array and so on. Skew kwa jili ya ku find a skewness, okay? Plotly is for graph. For graphs, okay? Norm is for normal distribution. So, he's in Python dependence. Okay. So, after doing so, in uroja ku run. So, press control keypad and hold and click enter. Okay. So, his library is takwa zimekwa executed. So let's quick uh, to add another new row. So I'll click here in set cell above. I think uh, no module okay, is not spelling. Uh, okay. Okay, so it happened with spelling, sorry. This is here. Pa. Okay. So happen correctly, so click enter. Okay, so now good. Zimesha import hizo library. So, nakuja hapa. 
nitaadi enyuro then nitaadi uh, just this is step number 1 kwa kutumia markdown language the markdown language language ambayo unatumia ku format document so nitaweka uh, a single hash then space then uh, this is data for example data science okay then nita kuja kwenye here by button nita click from code nita chagua a uh, markdown so hii imekuwa now sio code imekuwa markdown kisha ita mwenyeza control key pad try hold nita click enter so itonekana hivi okay so again uh, add a cell above okay so nimi add a cell I'm sorry so just delete it yeah, delete it so hapa add a cell below here po okay then change from code to markdown and naika is hapa uh, triple hash one two three then space then one this is step number one import libraries okay then press control keypad and hold and click enter okay so now here make a what heading Okay, so another step is to load data set. So, ndakuja kukliki humu ndani, just click. Then, ndakuja kukliki ya pa adi cell below. Cell will be added. So, hapa tuna import data set. Okay. So, kwenye code, ina change from code to markdown. Ime kwa markdown. Then, 1, 2, 3, space, 2, then load data set press control keypad and hold and click enter load data set again come to add another uh, row okay so tuna tuneza a uh, user defined variable tunaipa jina la df is data frame equal to pd pd is a uh, panda library here hapa okay kwa hiyo ya kulo di data set equal to panda dot so na access a uh, built in function mbao na patikana kwa ni panda na itua read Okay, so kama ujina kunyeza tab, kunyeza tab, okay, kunyeza tab uzita kuja hizi functions. I have to read CSV, Excel, FISA, and so many. I have to read HTML, JSON. I have to read our file extension is dot CSV. Our file extension is dot CSV, kama ujina kuna kana hapo, Excel file. So, read CSV, okay. Then, nafungua bracket, naika rotation. So now we need to check our file name. File name na kuja kwenye home hapa mbapo nili li upload file langu. Okay. Then my file name is uh, dataset and file extension dot csv. Okay. So hapa nandika file name is dataset dot file extension dot csv. Then quotation close bracket. Hapa na kwanimisha load dataset. Now our targeted column here is our uh, age when you follow Microsoft Excel, age is targeted column. Okay, so what if I get to come here now? This is a uh, uh, data, this is a user defined variable equal to what's our data frame down here, pa. then access column your age, targeted column is age, so age targeted column. Okay, then from age dot. We get a series of age. So we age is equal to from our series. So can say this thing amana is equal to any series. Okay. So dot. We will want to get dot two. We can only want to have a tab here. Pa. It will get a options. Okay. Dot two list. Now two list in the built-in function. Then to execute, press Control keypad and hold. Then you press Enter good so database uh, data data set has been uploaded successful okay so another step is to compute statistics so to now compute uh his information what central tendency and data variation so mean median and mode is in the central tendency variance standard deviation and skewness ni data variations Okay, so now, kuja kwenye hii source code, hapa kuja kuklik here button, add cell below, click it, okay, cell will be added, 
and then on code click is on shagwa here for markdown okay so but on a format one two three space on this is step number three then computing statistic computing okay then press control keypad and hold it and click enter and then add another row again good so happen to compute uh what is statistic and yeah, check information come up with me more and so on so now here is just a comment in python first information is mean not compute mean okay so now mean equal to our stat stat is uh statistic library i'm going here for stat statistics input input statistic as stat or you can see as statistic the same as a statistic the same okay the same input statistic as a statistic the same okay so now how about the same uh, uh, mean this is on a statistic so press here for all your statistical method class okay so you go to statistics dot uh mean okay let me mean so inside the statistic inside the library in a built-in function in it a statistic now so in the built-in function in a implementation yake then uh, he function to the petition or targeted columns that is age and what we assign it when you custom variable it data so how about the data how about what shutting in is a to shut compute mean so this is arithmetic mean so arithmetic mean again the compute a median so this comment by python median okay so median let's quantify our variable is median this is a uh, user defined variable equal to statistics okay dot to na access median so ni ki press uh tab it and the option the first option is mean another is media so now choose media so with the built-in function now implement his upper brackets then who moved on the petition my targeted column that is age i'm going here by put me assign it when you that's a okay so again i do compute variance so this is a comment variance okay so variance Okay, so yes, in the course of spelling, variance, okay. So not completely variance. So I'm going to variance, okay, equal to our library that is statistics, okay, statistics, okay. Our base statistics dot var. So I'm going to var press tab keypad, okay. So press it analyzes variance, recommendation, whatever you. Then the open brackets. Then you will learn in a picture data as argument. This is the argument, okay? So another is the standard deviation. So this is a comment, standard, okay? Standard, standard deviation. Okay. So let's go and take a standard deviation in standard. STD, so if we STD underscore def equal to our library that is a statistic statistic dot then in i call a uh, sun deviation so let's want to cover st press keypad here for your tab it is a std dev so standard deviation then a petition data so now we are going to compute uh or uh, skew skew ni vp data zime check as well so we are going to check our skew so go check data so let's check this is one this is so so here for your check he ni average mean zero so this is a normal distribution so data is equal here mark he ni uh it's a common in summit okay summit so summit in like a nini data zipo close to each other hakuna distortion of data no data distortion 
ndio hiyo wali kuta hii ni data zimekuwa normally distributed so kinyume chake maana yake itakuwa ni assignment okay so assignment can be data zinazo zikawa namna hii okay hii inakuwa ni assignment au zinazo zikawa na namna hii okay na hii yenyewe inakuwa ni assignment so hizi tunazita ni uh, skewness kama so, hizi ni skewness so kipimo tunacho kutumia kuweza ku find this hiyo kuna ya kwanza ni normal distribution yenyewe ya pili ni skewness okay let's check it okay <coughs> so here tuna compute uh, skewness hii ndio tunaonyesha data zimekuwa so skewness ikiwa iko to zero maana hiyo ni normal distribution so normal distribution namna hii so just kwa haraka haraka hapa skewness iko to to zero okay skewness iko to zero okay so otherwise inaweza kuwa ni positive or negative skewness na hiyo data zimeelemea upande mmoja ndio unaweza kusema concept kama hiyo so hiyo ni measure of dispersion skewness so now so when it is a skewness my variable equal to statistics statistics dot restart tona hii hapa na skew hii hapa skewness unaweza kuchagua skewness au unaweza kuchagua skew so skewness inapitisha data okay so again no ndo ko compute uh, what range ndo ko compute range data range range ni sawa sawa na maximum value uh, una toa minimum value so yes data range equal to maximum value minus min mi, minimum so it's a mini minimum value our value is age our value is age the targeted column is age okay so that is data range okay so something is available like to a data range equal to numpy and p ambayo tume import kule u dot tunatumia a uh, function inaitwa ptp function ambayo inapitisha data okay hapo ndo tume compute okay so now thing ndo compute uh, what quantiles quantiles okay so i want to cap quantiles quantiles okay tuna compute quantiles so what is quantile so for example my data set targeted column ni, ni age ambao hizi data ni unaweza kusema ni district data data ambazo ni integer ni integer district data ni integer okay okay so what is quantile so just kuonyesha hapa quantile maana ni kwamba uh, suppose hili ni just a box okay a box the box hili tunaligawa katika three zones so first zone hii itakuwa ni first quantile so yes and the first quantile okay hii itakuwa ni just a second quantile or second quantile and hii itakuwa ni uh, third quantile okay third quantile okay and hii hapa itakuwa ni just a maximum value and hii hapa itakuwa ni minimum value so hii itakuwa ni max okay and hii itakuwa ni min min minimum value so hii hapa uh, hii hii ni uh, 25% of our data set targeted column ambayo ni our targeted column hapa ni age tunazungumzia age targeted column okay so first quarter ni 25% ya data set and second quarter is 50% of data set ni 50% ambao hii sometime tunaita ni median okay sometime is median Mid, median okay and third quarter is uh, 75% percent. Percent. so kwenda kwenye maximum is 100% of our data set you know, 100 data set and any data amba itakuwa huku data points zote takazokuwa huku zitazokuwa nje hizi data tunazitem as a 
outliers oh, this is outliers okay hizi inaitwa ni outliers na yote utakakuwa huku itaitwa ni hizi zinaitwa ni outliers so hii hizi information hizi tunatumia hii hapa concept inaitwa quantile calculate a uh, first quantile was 25% second and third okay this is a concept okay so now kwenye quantile nao tunaenda ku calculate first quantile so q1 equal to first quantile okay equal to numpy mp is numpy so now tunia dot upanaita ku access a uh, beauty function inaitwa percentile okay percenta so click uh, una click iwa kuchagua percenta then our uh, targeted column is data okay so data then comma then una put 25% so sima 25% is first quantile like 25% okay so now una calculate uh, q2 q3 is uh, second quantile equal to nampi dot percenta achagua hii hapa then data then 75% okay so again let's copy this is the same code okay, hapa ndio just kuja ku duplicate so this will be q2 then data dot 50% of our data set okay so finally tunaenda ku compute uh quantile deviation so this is quantile deviations let's copy here hapa okay deviation quantile deviation okay good so compute quantile deviation and the kappa quantile deviation let's copy quantile quantile okay underscore deviation deviation let's just use a small letter so we variable so quantile deviation equal to of ngwe bracket let's chukua quantile number 3 or minus quantile number 1 okay so q1 q1 then divide is on say you divide by divide by 2 so about come compute quantile deviation final we don't compute mean deviation so mean mean deviation so mean underscore deviation mean deviation equal to numpy mp ambao ni library ambayo tunapata kwa you dot dot mean then numpy mp dot abc okay so again numpy dot Okay, when you type it, it's easier. So now I choose this array. Okay, let's do it array. So I'm going to the function. Now we teach our data. Teach our data. And then here minus mean. And cause these brackets. Okay, so I think to make sure find a computation of the mean. So click uh, enter. I think valid syntax. When the data range, uh, when the range. I think hapa hii ni variable variable itaki kuwa na and, na space so space itakiwi na just put underscore sababu hiyo ni uh, just a variable okay I think uh, name statistics is not defined okay would you import statistic as stat statistics uh, check spelling okay let's check here hapo Okay. So to me as a start statistic as a uh, statistic line number 2 kwenye mean okay so to me start is to start here hapo okay so how about a change uh kwa kwenye start so we move we start and we so move we start and again hapo we start and here we start and how will we start okay i think uh, module statistics has no 
how to do TSTD dev um that's not a statistic std dev so find the std dev understand deviation st dev so this is a st dev so st dev st so press tab yeah st dev i think this one st dev so run again and module static has no attribute skewness so now this is a skew shall we skew skew with a tab so let's just shall we skew and then you run again run again module statistic has no attribute skew so so just to import skew so from uh starts import uh import skew okay okay so i think hapa i start hypo so uh equal to skew equal to skew then in the name function as skew a pretty shallot so press control keypad and run okay so now good so now gonna print output so how about you add a cell below so cell here I'm going add it so I change the cell to markdown okay so uh, one two three space so this is step number four okay so four I'm gonna print output and press control and enter so you are pura then add another row okay so now I'm gonna print output and I want to put your content on the print on a print mean. So on the print mean or median or print balance, standard deviation, to know the printer. Okay. So now to not me a function if I do Python it print. So when you print, to know say this is average mean. Average mean. Okay, so we need string. And I got comma, then it I call a variable I'm going to mean. So now press tab, then you tell mean. This is in variable. Okay, so the instance variable. Then close bracket, so press control keep and hold. You click enter, so this is average mean. Again, to uh, uh, print Okay, so to uh, print median. So median, press the print. So the other is, is bracket, comma. Then I'm gonna call uh, median here, okay? So let's copy it. So this is a uh, median, median, okay? So this is median. Click enter. So median is 42. So median in particular, so median, una chukwa data na zirange kwenye scanning order, and we find the median. Okay, so again, I'm gonna print a uh, mode the print mode so now print so just send the kappa mode is then call i think mode is not defined <coughs> so how about you can use a mode so mode equal to uh, start dot dot mode so here for mode okay so i'm going to put our variable that is data so this is a uh, mode okay so I'm going to print mode okay so print mode click enter I think kuna error or mistake so uh, okay so hapa kwenye hapa kwenye hapa uh, mode start with mode so I'm going to import uh, also I need to import so I'm going to run to run each pande so click on press control keep and then click enter to run okay so he has to be able to get it so I'm going to control and click enter so here I'm going to mod so I'm going to print I'm going to print mod I'm going to print variance so print as variance as change 
from median to so here part is uh, our instance variable variance okay so this is the variance so standard deviation uh, make a square root here here square root okay so print this is a uh, standard day yeah, and standard deviation for standard deviation we may call our instance variable yeah, you think it's a std dev here po. okay and you click enter standard deviation square root yeah here po. okay okay so again we print uh, skewness so print this is a skewness skewness in color data i'm going to skewness then you click enter so this is a skewness. Ni kubwa sana yo. Okay. Then it will print uh, uh, range. So now print. So this will be range. Range the differences between maximum and minimum. So to now click data. Data range. Our instance variable. So range in here. Po. I want to refer to our value. Kubwa value dogo. So to now to print. Uh, First and second quanta, so print first, first quanta, okay, so I'm going to delete it. So here I'm going to first quanta, okay, and here I'm going to second quanta, so here I'm going to second quanta, here I'm going to third quanta, here I'm going to quanta deviation. So first quanta. I think he is Q1. Q1. This is a second quanta. Variable is Q2. This is a third quanta. Variable is Q3. And he ni quanta deviation. So Q dev. And that's variable ni quanta deviation. So I will print it his information so press control keypad and hold now you see output and q1 q2 q q2 q3 and this is quantile deviation okay good so now that we print final is mean deviation so now print so this is mean dev deviation and then or a function here, uh, sorry, a stacy variable, mean deviation, press control, hold it, click enter. So this is the mean deviation. Okay, so now good. Now, step on the file and could check normal distribution. So normal distribution, uh, let's check it. Normal distribution, I'm so scored. This is a normal distribution, let's initialize uh, outliers. Okay, good. So what is uh, normal distribution? So normal distribution gani msema is bell shape. So ina kwa na bell. So this is the bell. I think bell shape. Okay. And then the properties of normal distribution is bell. Okay. Bell bell shape. Okay. So it's bell shape. Bell shape. And you can see what is here is the tail. Okay, so it's in the tail. So tails is only. So never touch the x axis. So this is x. Okay, and who panda you is the. Okay, no distribution is the one PDF. Okay, so PDF is the probability density function. Okay, PDF. So this is bell shape. And how about Kuna mean, so mean is mu and standard deviation. So mean and standard deviation, mean equal to zero and standard deviation equal to one. So probability, yeah, easy and now is zero to point five and zero point five. Yeah, right. So this is a positive side, this is negative side. Total probability. 
probability total equal to, to 1. So hizi ni uh, standard deviation, hizi ni standard standard deviation. So this bell shape and tail high touch x axis mean equal to 0 and standard deviation equal to 1. So uh, so this is the same as our age is our variable. We suppose x is age, our variable. And here it follow is normal distribution. It follow normal distribution. Okay. And we have mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. So this is the reported formula. <coughs> you have to calculate. Uh, Normal distribution maneuver from your z score. Z score equal to individual data point about ni x, x in the zero age minus entire population mean divided by our uh, entire population cell deviation. So he equal to z score. So z score ni standard deviation. So this is z score. Zita kuja kukani uhili. So, so zero hapo. One, two, three. So, hizi zita kani just a positive. Hizi ni standard deviation. Na hapa ni one, two, three. So, any value ambao itakuwa beyond positive three and negative three. Here that data type term as outlier. So, hii inatumika pia kudisplay outliers. Okay? Good. So, <coughs> Sikuja kwa nye source code Hapo okay. So hapo This is step number 4 is step number 5 So This is step number 5 So step number 5 is uh, Normal Let's say check it Normal okay. Distribution Then change from code To markdown Okay, now click in. This is, this is add another. Okay. So, <coughs> first step ya ku calculate, ku, 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 ku use normal distribution to na find Z score. So, what is Z score? Z score is a standard deviation. So, Z is calculate Z score. So, I just want to comment. Comment is calculate z underscore score so what is z score z score is a standard deviation of individual okay individual individual age so age here na kama age tunai denote as x our age is denoted as age x for this case <coughs> so our targeted column the age. So what is the standard deviation? Standard deviation is what is the score? The score is the standard deviation of each individual data. So find the standard deviation of 35, Yapo, uh, Yapo, uh, 26, Yapo, Yapo, uh, uh, 64. You wanna each individual data point to find the standard deviation. So calculate a Z score. So now create hapa built-in uh, variable. So Z underscore score is user defined variable equal to hapa to perform the computation. And P is num P dot supposed to write here hapa option na chagua here hapa array. Tuna pitisha wa targeted column data ambao ni age. So Array each individual data point age minus nachukua our mean population mean here yeah, population mean okay so each need to una divide by population standard deviation std dev so I chukua std dev hapo na kumi calculate standard deviation so press control and click enter standard deviation will be computed so is that is cool after then tunahudia ku plot normal distribution curve with outliers ambayo um, zimekuwa marked on x axis so you can see here but tuna uh, source code 
this normal distribution curve this probability density function okay na ukija kuangalia hii kuna outlier so ukija kuonyesha hapa so hii imekuwa hivi imeenda hivi okay long tail so you can see hii hapa hii ni hii ni a uh, long okay long long tail ikiona maana kwamba hapa tuna positive uh, positive skewness so this is a uh, positive positive okay okay so positive skew so this is positive skew sub outlier ni value so this is the outlier na hii hapa valu so hizi ni outlier so outlier zime range between this interval hapa between this interval so hii na hii is in outliers outliers na hizi data ambazo zipo upande wa huku zimekuwa normal distributed kwa sababu zimekuwa closely to mean lakini hizi zimetoka zimekuwa outliers okay <coughs> okay so hiyo <coughs> ni source code hapo now tunaenda ku plot normal curve so plot normal plot normal normal curve or normal distribution okay with outliers i think in spelling outliers pairing okay with outliers marked on x on x x axis okay go so good so x axis so when you x to na plot uh, or standard deviation the individual data point so na plot kwenye x so x equal to mp mp is numpy dot so chagua hii hapa uliza tab chagua hii hapa lean space this is built in function mean minus hii hapa chagua minus 4 times uh, stand deviation so chagua hii hapa stand deviation then comma ok then mean uh, plus 4 times set deviation again and uh, switch on deviation press tab na chagua hii hapa set deviation okay so hii hapo then chukua hii hapa 1000 so <coughs> hii kitu kilichofanya hapo ni kwa ajili ya kuja ku plot hii hapa kwa ajili ya kuonyesha uh, outliers okay So now press control keypad and hold click enter to execute. So we go check out to confirm no no errors, okay? So do not put why. So <coughs> why is density function? So probability density function of individual data points x when x equal to zero, then pdf itakuwa ni some value. Up. When uh, x equal to 1 PDF itakuwa some value when if x equal to hizo ndo kwa PDF okay so <coughs> why equal to norm so norm is normal distribution ni live number to report kwa juu tutumie dot operator p press tab so p press tab is PDF okay so PDF the probability density function a uh, probability density function we call x mean and standard deviation so standard deviation na chagua hapa std dev then weka namna hii then press control keypad and click enter of the c no errors now we're going to identify outliers identify Kumbuka hii sio njia pekee ya kutafuta outliers inategemea na problem uliyonayo. 
Oke. Okay. So, <coughs> sampai ya boleh tua. Out. Out liars, oke. Okay. Equal to so there is a uh, out liars na kwenye uh, just array. So age. Now we create a variable variable for age for age in our data so yapa data about the variable about to change in is okay so if age is less than our average mean okay minus three times chua here for std dev press tab chua standard deviation about here for okay or age sorry age is greater than mean press tab chagua here pa mean plus three times chagua here pa a cell deviation then uh, kujo ku close zile bracket chamba wani here pa ok so no press control and click enter so now you can see no error ok so how about we identify or uh, outliers identify outliers so now we can use outlier labels okay so <coughs> outlier outlier okay outlier okay outlier underscore label let's choose label labels okay so equal to so let's say it's curly brackets so okay. So define so that you mean minus three times standard deviation as T press tab and standard deviation about here for the chagos and deviation. Okay. Then colon <coughs> then heat upon just a string, it on a can, okay, just a string. Yani, he took on here, okay, so just on a man. So, uh, variables in the cause range between three negative and three positive cell deviation. Do you know what you can okay? So, uh, can you have a particular source code? Ah, okay, so now three now is three Q, so three cell deviation, okay? So, let's go with a comma. So again, this copy the machine. Could you copy the picket? Sorry, the picket yapa. So here you can three, just like a two. So how about a change like a two? And how about a one just a. Let's see if I can name. So minus minus a deviation. Okay. Okay, so now here you have to remove the one I'm not here. Okay, so let's copy the same code. Is that one? Okay, so here's you know, one negative is not one positive. So let's go. Paste the So now I'm about to change the operator from minus to positive. And this is positive, and this is positive. Now I'm going to change from minus to like positive, now I'm like positive. Now, power like positive. Okay, so I think that's why we're vice versa. So he uh, it up is takwa hapa. Okay, takwa hapa. You sorry, takwa hapa. He takwa hapa. And he hapa. Yes, he takwa hapa. Okay, and there vice versa. Okay, so now comma, then this is remove one the comma, remove one right here. Okay, so another step is to plot normal distribution curve on our nice outliers and those we call mapped. Okay, so in a create figure, figure and graph, so this is a figure equal to uh, plotly go. So we we'll about to import plotly as go. So happen. Plot plot dot graph as go so we are grow because I could plot uh normal distribution curve dot f press tab 
Sorry if I press tab. Chagua hii hapa. Figure. Okay? So now hii ni function ambayo tumi call tumi assign kwenye variable inaitwa fig. Okay? Okay, so now fig dot add underscore press tab press again so press tab kapatia uh, trace so hapa ni just uh, trace trace then let's make it go dot and access fitting function inaitwa scatter so scatter this is scatter plot scatter so ndani ya scatter tunaipa argument argument ya kwanza x axis equal to x and y axis equal to y and now mode so mode na chagua uh, lines mode equal to lines and name so name itakuwa ni just like a title so let's plan like normal distribution normal distribution yeah okay then the quotation then close brackets more brackets in be the first bracket second brackets there is always close here so press control keypad and hold and click enter so then see ya kuna era yote ambayo ime run okay okay so now let's so add the outliers kwenye uh, plot okay so kwa the outliers kwenye plot so now use a for loop kwenye python for out plus here yeah, so for outliers i think we will define our variable for outlier so he the one variable for outlier in outliers okay in outliers so outlier is a variable to be defined so even outliers so outliers and bony here okay so for the outlier in outliers so we in for loop una implement the indentation kwenye Python ni very important. So hakikisha hii haipo huku. Hakikisha imeingia hapa ndani kidogo kwa sababu hii ni function kwa namna hii. Indentation as a kinyume na hapo program ita ita run error. So if our variable that is outlier so if if outlier so can take out integer chagua variable yangu outlier is less than average mean minus 3 times and select std dev times std dev then what to do so in indentation so x and variable i define x x position equal to mean minus 3 times st st dev okay yeah so nakuja hapa indentation else if if so outliers as if outlier kena chagua hii hapa outlier okay, is greater than mean then hapa tuna plus well, hapa tulikuwa ni manasi hapa tuna plus okay <coughs> 3 then times st salivation here okay then what to do so we are here for indentation so let's copy exposition e exposition equal to so we are change operator to make operator ya kujumlisha plus operator so kiwe na hapo so let's put else now continue okay continue so continue so nakuja hapa so just indentation so let's continue up okay yes sir okay so feed dot add underscore annotation figure to add annotation then x equal to so choose outlier so press tab keep keep ali is going to say you have outlier and y equal to zero and now text and text equal to 
the value number is equal out of range. So you can see out of range. That's my out of range or outlier. So I'm going to do out of range, okay? <coughs> and show arrow, show arrows. So few arrows in easy, huh? Okay, so these are the arrows. Show arrows. So here you have one out of, out of range, okay? Let's take it. Show, show arrow, yes, yes. show, show arrow, yes. So show arrow head size equal to one and ax equal to uh, 20, okay? Okay. So <coughs> another step is to add outlier label to x axis. I'm going to add outlier label to x axis. So I'm going to add adding outlier, okay? Label to x to x axis, okay? So now it's me a for loop for x value. So this is user defined variable, another variable. Then label in out press tab. Shall we here for outlier? Okay, in outlier label. Oh, sorry, sorry. So outlier label here. Dot press tab. So function is items okay so for so we follow to implement your follow okay can use colon so we can colon like we implement follow okay so now now there's the same uh you have so just in copy a uh, fig let's check fig yeah sorry okay so now uh select and put your up and I just click paste. So figure.add annotation x, y, label, show arrow, and so on. So the same code. It's the same code you can use for you. So now let's update our fig. Okay. So fig dot update up update underscore layout. Layout. So now title equal to also normal distribution curve. Okay, with outliers. Okay, so sub in string when I fung then comma then x axis okay so this is x axis okay. x x axis title equal to sun deviation let's choose std dev std dev so e is your variable you e just a string okay and y axis okay Y axis title equal to now y axis tapani density. Okay, so let's choose one PDF. PDF tapani density. So okay. So I think there is errors when you outlier label okay so outlier label outlier labels equal to we go a definition uh, outlier labels I check it. okay so check troubleshooting when you hear uh, outlier label okay Okay, so hapa kwenye utilana libo, hii bracket, yandu kwa yu space, yandu kwa hapa, hii bracket, okay? So press control and 
enter so now you can see mm, see errors so press control and execute uh, line number 32 else continue so else continue Errors. Uh, okay. Let's check. Uh, come on, errors. Is it okay? Somewhere, pa. Okay. So else, so this is continue. I'm thinking. Okay, so we find medication hapa. Yes, uh, okay. So, <coughs> so show arrow. Okay, show arrow equal to true. Okay, equal to true. Send T me in other than a capital letter. In let's show up on just arrow head equal to one and so I'm gonna copy the same code here for uh, we have paste the app up here but we will replicate okay there is okay let's try to run our program uh invade on true missile quick uh comma okay so after true i'll put comma put comma okay and then run again good so okay no Okay, so the graph we make a plot me. Okay, so let me talk say my comba. Now, we don't show graph, so what we show. Okay, so how about Nanika C dot show? Okay, show. Then execute. <coughs> So here upon the normal distribution of each individual data point. So out of range is value of 300 and 700 are uh, outlier. So nikija kwenye data set niki navigate uh, kwenye my data set. Okay. Okay, now you can see we have 700 and 300 so his data is when it was outliers okay out liars why kwa sababu zipo <coughs> zipo mbali na data hizi yani zimetoka nje kabisa hizi ni out of range data ambazo zipo mbali na hizi data nyingine huko data hizi zimeisha 40 40 40 30 hizi zimeenda 700 ni mbali <coughs> so nini ambacho kinapelekea outliers so outliers zinapelekea na invalid data entry pia kwa sababu mna mtu mwenye umri huu okay so hiyo ni invalid data entry so kwenye analysis huwezi kufanya analysis kwa style hii analysis inakuwa imekomea hapa so uweze kufanya analysis hapa uweze kufanya analysis yote kwa nini kwa sababu kuna outliers njia pekee ya kutatua hizo outliers ni ku treat outliers so next tutorial ya kujifunza ninatakiwa tu repress hii value na hii value automatically kwa kutumia programu ili valu za umu tuziweke valu ambazo zitakuwa nia to mean nia to average mean valu ziwe nia to average mean kwa zitavutwa nia to mean kwa hii neza kawa ni itachukifanya hapa itachukua valu ambayo ni maximum maximum wapa na zani ni stina kitu wapa maximum ni hii hii itapewa stina mbili na hii itachukua valu ambayo ni minimum ya mwisho labla 28 itapewa 28 so nimeshukuria mfano hapa outliers zipo mbili. Kwa kama una outlier nyingi sana humu 
hotelaya kubwa zitapewa value za 62 62 na hotelaya ndogo zitapewa value ya mwisho kabisa okay so kuzipo tekniki kwa ajili ya ku deal na hii hizo hizo outliers yes yes endelee now unataka ku plot a simple bar graph so squared in kwa ni step number 5 step number 6 step number 6 okay here yeah. so hapo nalika step 6 and akuplot h interval okay bar graph then change to markdown and click enter So age interval uh, this is age interval okay <coughs> age interval kutoka kwenye 18 to 24 25 to 34 hii ni baa kuonyesha watu waliokupona umri kuanzia huu mpaka huu wapo wangapi ndio maana yake so wana range kwenye 290 ni ambili tisina something hapo <coughs> so ni position kasa position kasa age interval from 18 to 24 ni ni ambili thamanini 280 ndo idadi yake okay age interval from 25 to 34 is 415 mia nne kuminatamu Agent tabo I think hii ni most frequent kwa sababu ba ime imenyanyuka ba yake imenyanyuka sana watu wenye umri wa miaka 55 hadi 64 ndio wapo wengi kuliko kundi lolote ndio maana yake na wenyewe frequency yake frequency ni 486 this is a frequency so hii ni distribution ya age ni kwa kwa kuipoti age interval age interval is x axis and frequency is y axis <coughs> so hadi na zero hapo okay nikufanya so tuna create our tuna define our custom interval define custom interval so now you can choose custom interval Okay. So for example I choose 18, comma 25, comma uh 35, comma 45, comma and 55, comma 65, comma 75, comma 85, comma and uh 90 5 comma 100 comma comma k comma k comma k comma k comma k comma k i think you know some sorry it's in bracket in here i'm about to read it again okay <coughs> so how about me define age interval beans this may define age interval beans so let's write a comment age interval so how about you can define <coughs> your desired age, age interval you can define your desired age interval also can define your age apart so now calculate this is a comment is a frequency of each each bin each interval of each bin is of each interval okay yes, let's check now to na plot kwenye histogram so now variable histogram go to bin underscore age okay let's see 
eight, okay, equal to numpy library, I'm about to import, dot h, press tab, now you can see we have honey, histogram, histogram being age, and so many graphs, h is stuck, okay, so now choose this one, histogram, okay, now when histogram, now put our data, now beans, press tab, let's choose beans, yeah, equal to equal to beans yes, yeah, equal to beans okay now bar graph with age interval bar graph with age with with age intervals so, so intervals okay so the other variable that have been labels okay this is user defined variable equal to fungua bracket yapa f okay so f tunaitumia wale ambao tunataka tuweke a variable pamoja na characters okay so curly brackets kwa curly bracket now call chagua bin h yapo okay now ro put this i so small letter i so he i kwa ajili ya kufanya looping so na kwa ajili close hiyo curly bracket okay and then uh, minus curly bracket now bin press tab check, press uh, choose bin edge and then again uh, just i plus one and <coughs> use money i plus plus that's my for for x x equal to zero x is or uh, x is equal to zero x is less for x x equal to zero x is less or equal to 10 then x plus plus and x come implementation okay i think some things like that come a loop plan is it <coughs> so what's the bracket is in minus one okay so and so for the curly bracket so the cause zero f cover f format is not a for loop for i Okay, I'm going to make a little variable in okay in in range. In which range? Range is our length. Okay, length here being h. I'm going here. Okay, that's b h minus one. So close bracket and close bracket. So try to execute. Oh, when I arrive at it, I fix. I think he arrived. Era hipo kwenye edge interval uh, I think Kwenye beans uh, Line number 2 Kwenye beans Kwenye beans uh, Of course eco Eco 2 So hapa kuna eco 2 Run again Ok good no error So press So now do plot So fig We create a fig Eco to Go Our plot library Dot figure so choose the upper figure okay so we figure the beauty function to like data data is our data equal to open go dot b press tab to access a simple bar no bar polar to na box to na box to chagua here pa bar bar in it had x and y axis x equal to bin okay bin uh, press tab which is where our uh, bin labels okay then y equal to press tab choose our hist a variable i'm about to make create and equal hist yeah, okay hist okay so histogram so close bracket close bracket and close bracket bracket is yeah close close and then press control hold press enter no error okay okay so fig dot up to date okay which up to date underscore layout open bracket in between function then title i think he title as a uh, single t title equal to then bar graph of age interval now bar graph of age 
of each intervals intervals so it's gonna be kwa sababu ni quotation when i close then x axis s axis underscore underscore title equal to now h interval then comma then y axis underscore uh, underscore title equal to hii itakuwa kwa upande wa y ambao ni itakuwa ni frequency so frequency then close quotation close bracket and click enter so now fig dot show then click enter to to execute so still in a run okay you can see how for still in a in a still in a run uh -huh. okay so step in ufasa but i have to kwenda ku create a uh, box plot so current in a run on the uh, we create a box plot na uh, kipindi na run okay so this will be step 7 Uh, one two three okay then it's seven okay so <coughs> biograph with age interval a now you see kwanzia umri wa miaka 18 mpaka 24 frequency ni mbili thamani na tano mpaka 34 frequency ni hizo 35 mpaka 44 frequency 45 to 54 frequency is 404 okay 55 to 64 frequency ni 443 okay 65 to 74 frequency ni uh, 45 okay now you can see his data ndi data ambazo zimekuwa normal distributed so unaweza kucheck hapa his ndo zimekuwa normal distributed other ku ni outliers Okay. <coughs> Otherwise mko ku change hapa kuishia kwenye hapo kuishia hapo then run again now you can see imeishia hapa okay kwenye 65 to 74 other are outliers make your outliers hmm. as adianza ro as adianza ro i think he was visit about to share okay so this is quantile let's say quantiles box dot change to <coughs> markdown and execute and adianza ro okay So now create a box plot. So okay, I'll leave a comment here, pa. This is box plot. We are going to display. What is what is the box plot? This box plot. Box plot. So this is the box plot. Okay. Now you can see trace. Trace here, pa. Maybe the maximum value is seven. To go, you know, we're going to Excel. Here, we're talking. Easy. Go to analysis zinaitwa ni outliers. Yaani kesi hapa iko hivi. Yes check it. Okay. Kesi hivi. Box plot inakuwa namna hii. Hii inakuwa ni second quanta, first quanta, third quanta. Minimum value and maximum value. So any value itakayotoka kwenye maximum hizi ni outliers. So hili box plot limegeuka, hili nimeleka horizontal lakini limekaa vertical. Kwa the same ni kusema tu hivi. Nisema ni, ni sawa na likai. Yaani ni sawa na hii nilijeuze. Kwa hii itakuwa ni first quanta, second quanta, third quanta. Max, okay? And mean. Value yote itakayokuja huku hii itakuwa ni outlier negative na yote itakuja huku itakuwa ni outlier positive. 
ndo hizi ambazo zimetoka nje ya hichi mwana hizi varu mbili au zimetoka nje ya hapa ndo sana zimetoka nje ya hapa kwa hizi naitwa ni data ambazo zipo out of range hizi za tele concept okay now <coughs> let's put the box for so now we will create a fig iko tu kama kawaida ile uh, protein dot nachagua hii hapa figure okay data iko tu uh, go dot b press tab and then choose box then y axis iko tu data and box box mean box mean equal to true then it close bracket and close bracket and close the curly brackets i think he or oh, this bracket okay okay after doing so we need to update the layout so our uh, fig dot update underscore layout and title equal to we we'll put a uh, uh, box plot of h okay of h and now of course we get a quotation y axis underscore title equal to h then close bracket close bracket then free dot show and click enter to run you can see box plot this is out here and this is out here <coughs> so the position cursor oh now you can see <coughs> we have a first quanta ambani 30 and median is 42 I put 14 in hapa when you hear hapa and uh, where do my print median median is 42.0 what my print median is the same the same na hapa and the same na hapa okay the same na hapa okay median is 42 <coughs> Min is 42. Third quantile is 54. And first quantile is 30. So, we will see here. We will see here. And we will see here. First quantile is 30. And second. And third quantile is. What? Uh, 54. Second quantile is median, about 42. First 30, third quantile is 54. The same, okay. The same, na hapa, okay. The same, it position kasa, it anete analytics. Alright, so mnake, quantile ya tatu ni, third quantile is 54, mean 42, median 42. The same, okay. His, this is maximum, this is maximum positive outliers. Zikia wakuchini is nakuwa ni negative outliers. So, so add another. <coughs> so, he took on step number eight. That's one, two, three. And eight. Now, he took on the <coughs> last step. Have a look at the frequency distribution. A frequency distribution, okay? <coughs> Change the code to markdown, okay? And press control key, but then hold to run, add another one. So, have a look frequency distribution, look at compute frequency, commutative frequency relative frequency and cumulative relative frequency 
Now we create user defined variable frequency underscore we created something that is like a dictionary equal to empty dictionary so I'm going to put it or carry bracket now for the for loop is user defined variable in loop in in data so when you follow to implement is a colony my gonna implement for loop now frequency Dict I'm going to it may define this as IV, okay. And then the value, okay, let's call it a proper value equal to frequency that's called a dictionary. I'm going to empty dot dot get, okay, dot get value, comma. Now we're going to initialize it to value equal to zero. Plus plus. So this is the implementation. Okay, plus one is so no plus plus. <coughs> After doing so, we are going to sort the frequency dictionary by keys. So now sort. So what is the frequency distribution? Manu kuni yeshe kuni source code. Frequency distribution. Okay, let's go there. Is original age column age here, pa? Original. Yeah, okay. Frequency. Yani umri wa miaka kumi na nane. Ambao tuli uplot hapa kwenye simple bar graph. Kwenye bar graph tumesua kuna umri wa kumi na nane paka shina nane, shina tano, sasa nane, age interval. Hapa tukasema wapu mbili sema nini. Kwa hii haitakikuja kupingana na echi tunokifanya hapa. Kwa mfano kija hapa. Frequency ya miaka kumina nane peke yake, yani walukuna wal, wal, 18 years, frequency ni 39. Kumina tisa frequency ni 43. Yani walukupu na umi ya miaka kumina tisa hote kukujimunisha na kwa ni 43. <coughs> Sasa hii ni meprint uh, data frame head, imanake head una print first 5 rows, ndo print na mna yu. Relative frequency, hii imanake kwenye what is the relative frequency relative frequency ni kwamba kwenye total summation of frequency kila individual age ime contribute percentage ngapi ndio maana yake yani ngeja kusema kwamba relative frequency relative kwamba huu umri wa miaka 39 umri wote kujumlisha huu hii imechangia ngapi kuchangia ngapi inakuwa ni percent yake ni 1.95 yani umri huu umechangia 1.95 data set kwa hii uh, relative frequency ukijumlisha unapata 100% unapata 1 sorry ukijumlisha hii relative frequency unapata 1 so what is the relative frequency is probability probability ukijumlisha zote unakuja kupata probability equal to 1 wakati percentage frequency is percent ukijumlisha percent zote na unajopata percent is 100 correlative frequency is probability of individual age how it may contribute kwenye summation of frequency ambayo ni probability percentage frequency ni percentage of age it may contribute kwa asili ngapi kwenye uh, total number of summation of frequency eh inakuwa na kitu kama hicho Cumulative frequency I think inafahamika. Cumulative ina inakuwa ina, ina increase in nature. Ndio maana cumulative inakuwa yenyewe ni always is positive one. Nasa kusema kama hivyo. Okay? Okay, so no good. <coughs> Now, ndo ku sort frequency dictionary by keys. So sort frequency distribution by by keys okay so check up a frequency show a frequency underscore underscore sorted equal to dictionary or just with the final delete bracket it was sorted in built-in function now to go a frequency dictate and I shall go here for 
dot I think items so much there was just pairing items yeah because I'm in function when I implement function close bracket and close the brackets okay, now let's press control and enter okay good no errors okay now happen to compute uh cumulative frequency and relative frequency so compute cumulative and relative fre frequency okay okay so now cumulative frequency underscore frequency Now we initialize to zero. I don't want to initialize. Ah, I'm sorry. Say I, I am, I'm not terminating when you're programming uh, Python. So, so yeah, Java. Okay. You go to zero. In total values equal to len. Then pass our data. Data we should find the way on the frequency table underscore table. Let's put this array, empty array. Now, for value, comma, then free, frequency, frequency, okay? So for value, frequency is not any variable in test table, which is where frequency sorted, but may define it the same name, dot, with items and then also with function when I implement so what I in function I implement when I okay okay <coughs> so here in for loop here is a photo need and I implement for loop so here now cumulative frequency here yeah. plus equal to equal to free okay apart from the just post incrementation and there I say it's relative underscore frequency this is a variable when we define one down here equal to frequency uh, divided by total value total values okay and percentage frequency underscore frequency percentage frequency equal to choose relative frequency times 100 and cumulative relative frequency let's copy this cumulative cumulative relative Cumulative relative frequency equal to cumulative frequency divided by total total values. Here I'm going to ni for example, our targeted column have any targeted column as ni age. Age, for example, is your targeted column age. About people when Excel by age. Now only one, for example, two, one, two, for example, in H. Now one. Suppose this is a frequency F. Frequency H he may appear, for example, one, he may appear two times, he three times in one. Summation a frequency our gangalia is seven. Okay? Seven. <coughs> then R F is relative frequency. So relative frequency equal to 1 and divide by 7. Then we put up values na 0 point. 2, 0 point. 3, 0 point, 0 point. Summation relative frequency will be 1. And this is probability. Na itaki kwa gizu. Then PF is percentage frequency. Percentage frequency. Okay. So equal to relative frequency divided by equal to relative frequency 
I think times 100 ili kupata percentage frequency. Okay, so the concept itakuwa naenda namna hiyo, okay? So delete, eh? Okay, I'm just going to do it. Now, tunaenda ku plot frequency table. Okay, so tunaenda ku plot frequency table. So frequency underscore table dot access beauty no function inaitwa append append ina double p inakuwa append fungua bracket and then humu ndani tunapitisha value Fre frequency relative frequency comma percentage frequency yapo unisome comma cumulative frequency comma and lastly is cumulative relative frequency okay. then it calls the bracket e, then i think he must take it okay so tuna close bracket ya kwanza ambayo ni hii na tuna close bracket hii na close hizo hapo okay okay and also to create a data frame so kwa ajili ya kuonyesha hizo output so creating data frame na data frame hii ni class create a data frame then columns columns equal to na kwa namna hii kwanza na kwa ni h h okay comma ya pili na kwa ni frequency alafu zinazofuata zitakuwa ni hizi hizi hapa hizi ah uh, relative frequency percentage frequency mm hizi okay relative frequency paka kumwisho hizi zitakuwa ni hizi so hizo ndio kuzeka hapa okay hapa naika koma alafu na nazi paste alafu tunakuwa ndani ya quotation so copy quotation as paste hapa quotation na hapo koma hapo percentage frequency and cumulative frequency and cumulative relative frequency Okay. Do so the close bracket. Then if we come here, we want to run. Come back on the errors. Press Control, hold and click Enter. I think errors are supposed to come. Frequency table. Okay. Yes, so we're going to follow the statement. Frequency, quality frequency, and frequency table, frequency underscore table, okay, dot append, I think the value is right, frequency, relative frequency, and let's finish from my ears somewhere. Okay, let's check here. Let's see. <coughs> so, I'm going to equal sign. Let's equal sign. Okay. And run again. Okay, good. So, no errors. So now, we're going to plot a frequency data frame. So, frequency underscore df data frame. Okay, equal to our library panels dot class. Here to a data frame. 
Okay, data frame. Then who mundo ane tu na i call a frequency table ngao fana ali kwa ni empty. Press this one, choose the frequency table. And now columns. Columns equal to our columns. Our columns about to be defined. Okay. Ambazo columns ni age frequency, relative frequencies. Okay. Now. Now print, print, okay, okay, in frequency data frame. So this is uh, an output. So you can see in a print age, the first age is eighteen. Okay, now we have a data set. The corner. So here is the range from lowest age to largest age. So kijia wangari hapa ime the range from lowest to largest. So lowest is 18. Frequency ni hawa. Iyo frequency ni relative frequency. Summation ya hizi equal to 1. Enda kumpaka kwenye. Sasa kwa sabu hizi data ni nyingi. Hapa tuna ati other. Argument dot print first five rows. Eh? Dot head print first five rows. Why is it not funny? If I the same procedure you can do in Microsoft Excel. How about now for calculate what frequency? Go to me a function like to account if okay. Na relative frequency kusabu ni, ni, ni just calculations za kawaida okay? Lakini Python inaenda kwenye efficiency lo kupo kubwa wa upando wa data analysis So now hapa tumemaliza <coughs> uh, analysis katika sumo leto layo So Python programming for data science introduction to central tendons and data variation Central tendency ni mean, median, and mode. Data variation, variance, deviation, skewness, range, quantile, percentile, and normal distribution also is uh, what variation also. Not to the print up. Visualization to make me a bar graph. Kwenesha age interval. Okay. And the box plot here also can maximum value of the zero. Frequency table to measure the frequency, the number of currents of each age. The age is the total number of Relative frequency, the proportion of each age relative to the total. Relative frequency percentage in the percentage is a sign here. Relative frequency, cumulative frequency is the running total for frequencies. And cumulative relative frequency is the running total for relative Visualization, the graph, plot none. Okay. So now we can download the source code from GitHub repository. Like it, comment, and share our video tutorial series.